Roberto, congratulations. Just how big a step have you taken towards reaching the final, perhaps, tonight? No, I don't think we, we look at it that way. We knew the, the, the first leg was going to be an incredible uh, challenge, but a great footballing occasion. I thought Goodison Park was rocking. I thought the atmosphere was terrific. I think our fans allowed us to perform in that manner. But the character that we showed was incredible. Probably the most pleasing aspect of the performance. We had to cope with losing Tom Cleverley at half-time through an injury. Then Romelu Lukaku pick up a knock in his ankle. And then we have to end up the game with, with 10 players. And for that period, to be able to manage the game, we kept the ball well and overall the reaction after conceding and never accepting defeat. It was very pleasing. I thought it was a very good game of football. Um, a lot of chances in both ends, but uh, after this, the 25-minute period that we had in the first half, going into, into half-time, was very, very strong and, and very pleasing. Uh, it means nothing. It's the first leg. We, we had to win our first game, and now we'll have to prepare for a, for a very uh, interesting second leg. You said before the game it wouldn't be without incident and it would provide talking points. There was a lot of talking points about the first goal. What was your view? Well, the, the, the first goal uh, for, right. for ourselves, it's just a, I don't think it's a, a terrific delivery in the corner. And, and from that point, I think it's just uh, we reacted quicker to that second ball and, and it's a, just a clear goal. I thought, I thought the goal was coming at that point. Um, we had a very strong period. Two goals disallowed and, and a little bit Probably we, we, we could have done a lot better around that their box, but um, I thought for spells we played um, with real confidence. We we got through the defensive sets up with with a real um, uh, style and and it was a, a really really strong first half. Second half we expected to open up a little bit. Uh, we looked like getting in good positions, but um, the reaction once we conceded is the most pleasing aspect. That character is, is something special in the group. Once again, Romelu Lukaku has got the winning goal for you. Is there a better striker in Europe, in your opinion, at this minute in time? Well, I think the stats are there to, to back any sort of assessment that you want to do about Romelu. From our point of, of view, Romelu Lukaku has always been, uh, in our eyes, the, the, the perfect striker for our team and, and for our football club. And that's why we invested so heavily. But still a very young man. is a is an, an incredible boy to work with on a daily basis at the training ground. He wants to be the best in the world and you can see the way that he's focused and, and the way that he wants to do, help the team and take responsibility for a young man is, is quite impressive. Um, it's a joy to see him enjoying his football and scoring goals.